Hi everybody, it's Danny, and today I am doing a nail of the day video. Um, I'm going to be using this mash plate. Is mash number 29, and I'm going to be using this star image right there. As just a reminder, my base color I have on is December 2013 by Enchanted and it's kind of a nudie um, rose gold type of color and I'm going to be stamping with my set with my Conad special stamping polish in black. Alrighty. So but before I start, I did want to show you guys something. And some of you might think this is kind of trashy. Um, but I found this really cool thing on the side on, on the curb, on the side of the road, on the curb, and I took it home. It looks like it was probably maybe like a top of a dresser or something. It's really, really big and really, really heavy made out of wood. It had a mirror in it. So it looks like it might like have been attached to like one of the short long dressers. And <clears throat> you know the mirror was broken, but I didn't really care about that because I didn't want it for the mirror. But I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh. On Thursday, me and my husband are going to go to Lowe's. I think he said Lowe's. I can't remember if he said Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, because there's like one of each, like three miles away from our apartment. So just depends on which direction we go. So we're going to go to either Lowe's or Home Depot, I can't remember which one you wanted to go to, and we're going to buy supplies, and we're going to make a nail polish rack out of it, and then I'm going to paint it, and all this stuff. So I'm going to paint it and stuff, and make it look really pretty, and I'm going to put all my nail polish in it. And when it's done, I'm definitely going to film a video where I show you guys, you know, all of this, like, where I show you guys, like, what it looks like. And I'm going to show you guys, like, all, all my pop. Basically, when it's finished, I'm going to do, like, a nail polish coat. Maybe not as soon as it's done. Um, but, I, but once it's done and everything's all really nice and set up, and everything's really, like, everything gets, is perfect the way I want it, I'm going to do, like, a, a collection um, haul type video. So that, or not haul, but like a collections video and show you. But I really, I'm going to take my camera now and I really want to show you like what it looks like. Because I really, really like it. Hold on. Oh my gosh, we're moving. Alright, so. This is the thing. I hope you guys can actually see it. Cause I can't tell. Yeah, you guys can see it. That's the top. And like the bottom down here has like that really cool like molding. But yeah, I freaking love it. And uh, so I love it, and I cannot wait to turn that into something my hubby. What's funny though is my hubby, like, he had a little bit of a, like, a hissy fit that I brought at home. He's like, oh. he's like, gosh, he's like, that's so trailer park that you would do that. I was like, oh, shush. He, he says it like that because I grew up in a trailer park. So he's always like, Ugh. he's like, your trailer park is showing. I was like, oh, shut up. But then when I told him what I wanted to do with it and I needed his help, he got all excited because he likes to he likes to do projects like that. And I'm like, I am not above getting something off the curb. No, I'm not. Not at all. But I have an aunt who does that all the time. Like, if she sees, like, a chair, even if it looks like the upholstery is, like, all kinds of ripped up and, sh you know, all kinds of shitty, she doesn't care because she just wants it for, like, the frame. Because she takes, she'll haul all that stuff home, and then she reupholsters it, you know, makes it really nice and either sells it or has it in her house. And even when she sells it, she really only sells it for like the cost of the materials that it 
you know, she doesn't do this like make money or anything like that. But you know, you know, a lot of my people in my a lot of people in my family do that. Where we're like, Psh, we're not above getting stuff off the carrier. We don't care. So yeah. And besides, like, something like that is wood. It's not gonna, you know, it's not dirty. It's not like I brought home a mattress or something. I would never do that. That's just no, no. But you know what I'm saying. So I'm like, yay, you know, awesome. I'm gonna make myself nail polish rack. Cannot wait. And I may even, um, before my husband, um, like before it, like. When it's completed, but before, like, I put it where it's supposed to be, I may just show it to you guys again, like, as, like, in, in another video, like, when it's done, when I, like, if I'm doing, like, a nail of the day video or something, I may just do an update video just to show you what it looks like when it's all completed, because I know that when my, when it's all done, my husband's going to, like, we're not going to, like, hang it up on the wall, it's going to sit on the floor, but he's going to, like, mount it to the wall so it won't, like, tip over, so, but yeah, I will definitely show it to you guys again when it is finished. I am so excited. I love DUI projects. I love doing D DUI projects. Yeah, I love them. But anyway, on to the stamping. Let me open up my plate. Oh my god. There it is. So, but again, I cannot wait to do that. It will be so much fun. It'll either be really fun or I'll kill my husband in the process. I haven't decided which one yet. That just depends on how he is, apparently. But he's going to do most of the heavy stuff. I'm just going to basically tell him how I want it, and I'm going to paint it when he's done. Because the way I want it, I want the shelves to be white enough so I can put two bottles of nail polish per shelf and just have them, like, I can have two lines of nail polish per shelf. And then, yeah, I can't wait. The way he describes how he wants to do it, I, I really, really, ooh, I knocked the table. I really, really like it so far. But anyway, let's get the stamping or I'm never going to get it done in this. This video will just be way, way too long. Get that a little bit. There we go. I'm trying to adjust my camera accordingly. All right, so I got my cotton claw with my cotton ball on it. Have my stamp, and again, I'm going to use the star image. But instead of like putting it like across my nail, like at the top, I'm actually going to make it go up the side because I don't know. I just like that. I just think that would look better. And then I. Oh my god, excuse me, I have the hiccups. I am using just my Conad stamper. I'm not using my big squishy one today. I only use my big squishy one when I do full nail images. Excuse me. I only like to use my squishy one when I use the when I do the full nail images. Because I've noticed that if you do like littler images with it, with the big squishy stamper, to me, it kind of it almost, it, I don't know, I don't like it. It's like you have less control. I don't know. But, ooh. Yeah, no, I'm going to redo that. That one didn't, I didn't like that one too well, sorry. That one didn't stamp as well as I wanted it to. But that happens sometimes. There we go. Alright, that one's a little bit better. And then I'm going to put it on the inside. Here. Okay. Because this is my pinky finger and it's really small and the stamp is kind of big, it does seem to take up a lot of my nail. But that won't be the case for the other ones. For the other ones, it's going to be more like a little. Hold on, I'm just cleaning up the little black parts I got on my finger really quickly. Right there along my cuticle. So, yeah, this one, like, because it was my pinky, did take up a little bit more of the nail than like it will on my other ones obviously because it's my pinky but that I like how that is turning out I like how this is turning out so far I will say um this mash plate um I only have two 
and I actually think that this might be the first. I don't think I've used the other one. Oh wait, no, yes I did. Yes I did. When I did the heartbeat nails, that was a mash plate. But this is only the, this is only my second mash plate, and I must say I I I enjoy them. <clears throat> I would buy a set. I would buy a whole set, I think. The mash plates seem to be pretty high quality. The they stamp well. Um, the images are engraved deep enough to where they're not, you know, they're engraved deep enough to where they're not. <clears throat> See, like that one. I like that a lot on the side, like that. You know, they're engraved deep enough to where they stamp well and you get a nice clean image. They're not like some where they're kind of shallow. I don't really have too much. I mean, I've never had any that were super shallow, but I have heard other people, you know, say that some of the cheaper ones sometimes are not engraved deep enough and don't stamp very well. But these ones stamp very, very well. And I do enjoy them. I recommend stamping to everyone. I think everyone should have a stamping kit and I actually I give a stamping set I I make my own stamping kits and make and give them to my friends. But I just stamping is a really good way to get your nails to look like you went to a salon or something when you didn't. I mean, obviously I'm not like super, super, duper great at it, but I'm good enough to where my nails look good. But I will leave, I bought the, um, the mash plate that I'm using. Um, you can buy them individually instead of buying the whole set. And when I bought mine, I bought this one and the other one I had used in a previous nail of the day video, the um the one with the heart with the EKG lines. I bought that one. Um I bought them both together and they were on sale at the time. They were only ninety nine cents a piece. So I bought I went ahead and just bought them because why the hell not? And I don't think they are that cheap anymore. If I remember correctly, I think now they are $2.99, but do not quote me on that. I will provide a link down below to this plate. So I, well, that one's okay. But I will definitely leave a link down below to this plate if anyone is interested. Um, but that's what I, that's another thing I like about MASH. Like let's say you like you want to try one but you don't know but you don't want to drop the cash on a whole like set of plates of like twenty or twenty five or how many come in a set of mash plates, then you can just buy one or two individually, which is really good. I wish more like companies did that, like Bundle Monster and like Red Angel. I have a set of Red Angel plates that I actually really, really enjoy. But I don't have any bundle monster plates because you know, I don't, they'll have like their little sets and like, oh my god, I love the, you know, there's 25 of them, but I only like 15 of them. And I mean, yeah, I know I could give the other ones away, but I'd rather not. You know? Wait. I hope this didn't dry. Which I might have. No, it didn't. Okay. Sorry, I was having a placement um, problem. I was looking at it like, oh god, where do I put the thumb? The thumb, when I'm like, trying to do everything in one, like, in a certain way, the thumb kind of throws me off sometimes. And then I have a... My brain shuts down momentarily. 
Alrighty. So that's my whole hand done. Okay, so my hand is done and this is the finished product. As you can see, it's just a little bit, just, just a slight little stamp on the side. The placement isn't perfect on all of them, obviously. Like, if I did it over, I think I would put this one a little bit closer to the edge or put this one a little bit more over. But this nail, the way it grows, it actually curves. I'm going to show you how this nail grows right now because it's really messed up and sometimes it does make my stamping look weird. Like, you see my nail? Okay. Like it grows, like it cur when it grows, it curves in. So that's why, you know, it looks like the stamp is weird because it's so curved in and it makes it look like it's funky, but it's not. <coughs> but so this, I really, really like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to adjust again and I'm going to throw on my top coat really quick and then I will show you again the finished product. Let me move my sanding out of the way. Alrighty. Remember when you do your top coat to use a thick a thick layer top coat because you don't want to smear the stamp and the less times you go over the stamp with top coat, the less the less amount of times. Okay, the more time, the more strokes you use, the more likely you are to mess up the stamp. So if you only go over it once or twice, you know your your chances go down considerably. But you also, you know, you should let your stamps dry for a little while before you even try to apply top coat. Because if you try to do top coat right after, you know, like directly after they will smear, it won't look cute. But, you know, you just got to be careful with it. And again, use a giant blob of top coat. I like fast dry top coats for stamping the best, like this one by Color Club or um, Seshvit. Seshvit I, is my holy grail, really. Seshvit is my number one favorite, and then my second favorite is this Color Club polish, the Color Club one. Because the Color Club one is super, one, it is super fast drying, just like Basically, the color club one is just as good as such feet without the smell. So, it, you know, if you can't stand the smell of such feet, then the color club one is for you because it is just as good. Just doesn't smell. But me, I don't know. I just love me some such feet. But here's what they look like with the top coat on. So very shiny and pretty. And I did slightly smear my thumb. I'm assuming because it wasn't dry enough yet. But it's such a tiny smear that you can't even really tell unless you're like really, really looking at it. So this is my nail of the day and I love it. And I will post a link down below to the um where you can get the I'll, I'll post a link to the um to the smash plate. Alright. I will see everyone later. Bye.